live from the James Fort in the Jamestown Colony. It's the nightly colonial news with your award-winning host, Gracie Whitehead. Good evening. Today is November 30th, 1609. We thank you for watching our newscast this evening. There are many topics of interest that we would like to share with you today. First, let's look at the weather forecast. Today's weather was quite nice. The lows were in the 40s and the high was 66 degrees. It looks like we will have some cloudy days ahead with some rain showers this weekend. We recommend that you go ahead and plant your corn, beans, and squash by Saturday. Speaking of the weather, let's go to the Indian village, Wirawokomoko, to see how the Indians survived each cold winter each year. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. I'm here at Wirawokamoko, home to the Powhatan Indian tribe. I'm here to tell you about how Native Americans survived each winter. Each fall, Indians began to preserve foods from the harvest to keep for winter months. Once cold weather arrives, they eat this food when nothing else is available. They also hunt or fish anything they can, but animals are harder to find at this time of year. Indians truly have amazing survival skills. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Sandy. Lately, malaria has been a big problem in Jamestown. And today we have a special alert from reporter Itchalot. Here in the Jamestown colony, many citizens have experienced the following symptoms, which should be reported to Dr. Johnson immediately. Fever, chills, headache, and nausea. These are signs of malaria, which can be deadly. We think the disease is caused by mosquitoes. Back to you, Grace. Thanks, Itch. On a lighter note, Elizabeth Edom is here to share a brand new corn pudding recipe. Take it away, Elizabeth. Thanks, Grace. This recipe is easy to make and delicious. You need the gathering the following items. Two ears of corn, some flour, some sugar, a little bit of salt, two eggs, fresh milk, and melted butter. After you combine the milk and the flour, add in and mix the remaining ingredients. Bake for one hour open, over an open fire, and halfway through the cooking time, mix one time. This is what your final product should look like. Back to you, Grace. We're just receiving a breaking news bulletin about an injury in the colony. Let's go straight to our beat reporter, Starvey Time. Thanks, Grace. We have just received breaking news that John Smith was in a gunpowder explosion. We are not sure of all the details, but we heard it was a serious injury and he might be sent back to England immediately to be cured. We will keep you posted with any information we receive. Back to you. That's our newscast for tonight. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I said ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have just received breaking news. I messed up one of them. We are not sure of all the details.